good. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, we, we started the conversation without you again. That's the way we do when we chit chat with the, the, these ladies. But Marlene, it's a very special Friday yes. morning. It is a fun Friday. Absolutely. And again, we're uh, in, in tribute, of course, to the mothers. That's right. It is uh, Mother's Day on Sunday and every year. We take the opportunity to be able to identify moms who we want to celebrate with. Yes. And uh, we sent out an appeal to our viewers to nominate their moms. And uh, these are the five moms that were selected. Yes. And so we have, let's start off with you introducing yourself and where you're from. Well, my name is Carolita Bardales. I came from Punta Gorda. I live in the village of Paris home. All right. Uh -huh. I'm Josephine Caritella from Esperanza, Cali. All right, make? good job. Yeah. Uh, it's ahead. on, it's on. It's on? Yeah. Josephine Caritella from Esperanza, San Ignacio. All right. Okay. I'm Ms. Teresa Mull from Del Mopan. All right. And over here, Ms. Romal La Salam from Punta Gorda. All right. Mr. Murata from Billy City. All right. Okay. <laughs> and Deborah says she's, so, she, she's surprised she's the only city girl. Only city <laughs> girl. But firstly, before we get started, I've got to say this. You are looking beautiful, extraordinary, and we're so glad to have you in. All right. Thank you. Yes. And, uh, and of course, as a part of uh, being on this show and, and uh, being selected, the ladies were decked out by Pink Boutique. Ooh. That's why I, I, I love the different colors and you guys look fabulous. I'm also wearing an outfit by Pink Boutique. And uh, I, I want to hear a bit about that experience too. How did, how did you like, yeah, the, yeah, like this. shopping the, the for thing. Mother's Day? Yeah. Anybody, Teresa, jump in. Teresa, you tell me. What was it like? What was it like for you? Use, use the microphone. the microphone, yes. You can put the, use the microphone. Oh, uh -huh. it's, it's, it's very nice. Nice. Yeah. Yes. You feel comfortable, huh? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Who could get used to it? No, nobody uh, so <laughs> My lady already raised her hand. She could get used to that. <laughs> and what was it like for you? Oh, well, it, it was. I don't know. I, I, I think that um, like, for me, I, I sat, I sat, I sat, and I can't find something like a Well, you found something beautiful. Yes, and then I said, well, I care to win and I try on one. I said, oh man, this is too tight. I said, <laughs> so I try on this one and I said, okay, this one is good, so I'm okay. This yeah, I'll carry that one. And, and it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, yes. So Pink yes. Boutique is one of uh, the the uh, partners that we have working with us, sponsors. Mm -hmm. And so we really want to say very early in the show, a thank you to quite a number of people okay. uh, who are partnering with us. And so we're going to say thank you to The Loft by Shads. Yep, um, Shanti Yoga and Wellness Center. Uh, Tammy Cakes and Cupcakes. Of course, CGI. The T-Shirt Factory. Pink Boutique. And uh, Ramada Belize City Princess. Uh, uh, <laughs> Tropigas. Uh, Travelers Liquors. Medina's House of Jewelry. Santiago Castillo Limited. Huellos Distillery. James Brody's and Company Limited. And Carl H. Menzies. Okay. All right. These are some other folks, of course, who are partnering with us to make we sure that we've more. got a wonderful day lined up for you. And who else do we have? The Best Western Belize Biltmore Plaza. That's right. LA Fashions. Santiago Castillo again. Coyos, Koy, uh, we already said them. Yes. Ozil Day Spa, mm -hmm. San Pedro Belize Express. Courts. Courts. Yep. Grace Kennedy Belize. Susan Singh Photography. All right. Uh, yeah, we a did night, the, and a night and day photography. photography. All now, right. Yep, these folks are making things happen for you today. All right, so we ready? Don't worry. You'll know why all these people come in, come into play a little bit later in the show. <laughs> but let's get started. Yes. And I, I really want to find out uh, a bit about uh, your own experience as mothers. And, you know, I feel that, that people really embrace Mother's Day because there's just... Uh, uh, a love and appreciation that we have for our mothers mm -hmm. uh, that oftentimes can't even be expressed. Yeah. So let's talk about your own journey into motherhood. How many how many kids do you have? Let's start there. Yeah. Good morning. I have six children. Wow. Okay, what's their age range? 19, 18, 16, 15, 10. And five months. Five oh. months. Oh, you got a baby. Baby, baby, yep. baby. Yeah. Nice. Deborah? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Just need to put the mic right there. Tell, tell us about yourself. Tell us. Tell us. I'm a British cancer survivor. Oh, wow. I'm also a mother of nine. Nine kids. Nine kids. Yes, only two to 30. 
Oh, you know, gonna know baby. Of course I do. <laughs> the baby is always the baby. <laughs> All right. I'm a cervical cancer survivor. Oh. I had bad children mm -hmm. from 35 to 28. 35 to 28. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. And? I have, I have three girls. Um, the oldest 33 and the youngest 26. Oh, wow. Excellent. And Teresita? Um, well, I am from Belmopan, my name is Teresa. Um, I, have, I am a mother of nine. Wow. Five, five girls and four boys. Four boys. Yeah. Yes. And the youngest is? Well, um, I am 65 years. And the, um, my younger last baby, she was, she's in 25 years oh, old. Okay. You still call her baby? <laughs> yes, I can have ah. my baby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So let us share with us, mm -hmm. what is your favorite part of being a mother? What do you yeah. enjoy the most about being a mother? Anybody can Anybody. answer. Just, what do you enjoy the most? I enjoy being a mother because... Hold it, you, you want to hold the microphone? Yeah, come on, I'm close to you. I enjoy being a mother because someone look up to me yeah. and I have responsibility. And when you become some mother, you give up yourself yeah. and you become part of something wonderful. Nice. Anybody else? Over here. And go, go over the side. Well, mm -hmm. I enjoy being a mother because I raised five kids of my own. Oh. And at the condition of mine, uh -huh. my five kids take care of me. Well, they take care of you, huh? Yep. Excellent. That's beautiful. Let's, you, all right. Me, I enjoy my girls then because we do everything together. We play softball together, we go play football together. And my baby, she would have come up with me. I love you, ma. Just like that? And tell me, tell me if you love me. So I tell her, no, ma, I don't love you. <laughs> then I say, no, behave that lie. <laughs> I enjoy all of them and I enjoy having them. I, all right. I can't say I'm sorry that I got no reason for my own, and I love them. All right, excellent. Uh huh. I love my kids 100%. Okay, what, 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 what makes you be so proud to be a mom? Proud to be a mom because I hold my responsibility in my hand, right. and I raise them the way it should be. Very nice, I like that. <laughs> and lastly, Teresita. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you hold the microphone, Miss D. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Well, I, I, I happy I am the a mother mm -hmm. of nine children. I struggle a lot. Uh -huh. To be a mother is no easy. It's very hard. You have to struggle with nine children. It's a no joke. <laughs> yes, I struggle a hard time with my children. What helps you get through the challenging times? Because, you know, I, I've heard uh, a few of you say that, that you were single moms. Um, you have large families. Mm -hmm. uh, every family and every parent goes through their challenges. And sometimes it, it almost, I would imagine, you just feel like throw your hands in the air yeah. and say, you know, uh, you can't give up because you have the children as your responsibility. Yeah. But what pushes you through? Is it their smile? Is it their affection? Is it just seeing their faces? What helps push you through the hard times? Yeah. Well, what helped me push through my hard times with my kids? I realized they don't have a father mm -hmm. and I have to do my part. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to see them go to, not going to school, going to school yeah. you know? So I try my best. If I have a job, I go out and leave them with my mother mm -hmm. or I send them to school. If I have to go and pluck one chicken for the day, now that's, that's what I go and do for my kids. Mm -hmm. And if I can't buy them a shoe, mm -hmm. five of them, I leave that money until I could buy the five pair of shoes for them. Wow. And my children is so loving, I can't complain. Mm -hmm. I have three girls and two boys, especially Destiny. Yeah. The one She's that I'm yes. yeah. yeah. That's Destiny the one I live with. Yeah, okay. yeah. Destiny yeah. scores some points yeah, in this Destiny. nomination. Yeah. Your points now, Destiny. Mm -hmm. What is it like when you, anybody else, and how you push through the, the hard times? I push because then. 
having kids by the time I was 27, I already had the nine kids. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, it was good. Awesome. Beautiful. Oh, my That's gosh. Awesome. And then whenever I think about giving up, I think about them because they have to look up to me. Yeah. You understand me? And I never go home. I never fall back or anything. I just know that and nine kids took up to me and said, you know what, mom, I love you. Yeah. And so when I was going through my trials and tribulations, they were my motivation. Yeah. Wow, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I raised my one name for my own and I watched them and when my oldest daughter me they stand at six, I say, you know what, you need to go to high school. Yeah. So I say, you have to get up and find a job. So I go and I find a job. So by the time she come out, I stand at six, high school. And you know, they, they motivate me, they give me courage, because they, they're really smart. Yeah. So they give me that courage, you know, they push them, push them, and push them more. And up to now, they, and that's some loving picnic to me. All right, oh. nice. <laughs> Look at you, oh my gosh. <laughs> and you know, you, you know it, it's, so, it's so nice to be hearing all these stories uh, because we, the, the strength of a mom is something that uh, nobody could understand. Miss T, what about you? What makes you feel so proud to be a mom? Well, I, I have to be proud because I love them. I don't know how And when things get hard, how do you get over the how do you get over the hump when things get hard what what's your mindset what do you think well i try my best i am i am a person that i like work hard mm -hmm. me and my mm -hmm. husband my husband he is a farmer okay and me i as a housewife i work hard for my children i try my best to send them them to high school everything the three of three of my daughters they went to high school Mm -hmm. Yes, so we give them an opportunity for them to continue go to high school and the next one graduated from university at least. She is the one that she's helping right now. She is, she is behind me every, every time. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't really have like problems because I'm living with my husband. Okay. He is supporting and I'm supporting. Yeah. Both of us are raising our kids. Although sometimes we have our ups and downs, but it's life. It's life. Yeah. We yeah. try to fix it because we want the best for our children. Yeah. They are the future. Yeah. Mm. I love that. Now, I want to hear <laughs> when you found out that you were nominated for the show, what your reaction was. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Who got upset? Nobody? Who got upset? Okay. Anybody got upset? Because no. I know some people really TV shy and then yeah. they get upset. All right, so tell me your reaction. Let's start here. Well, I was in Cairo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I was seeking medical attention. Mm -hmm. And I was up about 9 o'clock. My destiny called and said, You know, mommy, you win. I said, Win what? You see, you win, you need to go to Channel 5. I said, No. I said, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it takes me like. An hour, two hours to go to bed. Yeah. So I have a little granddaughter. Mm -hmm. She said, Granny, don't get excited. Go ahead and sleep. Tomorrow we'll <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, my daughter, I'm a teacher. Uh -huh. And she get home and she said, I need to go to a family meeting. Ooh. And then I was like, for what? Mm -hmm. that something about school or something. Your hair went in that time. So me, I just gone. I, I end up gone to Kayo and she said, Ma, you never hear I say one call on family meeting? I say, oh my, tell me. He said, Ma, you win. I tell her, win what? He said, pick up on channel five and this, what? open your eyes. So I said, who do that? <laughs> oh, jeez. I said, oh, jeez, that what now? Oh my God, then I hurry go home back. I said, oh, jeez, I start to tremble right away. I said, <laughs> I tell her, what do you do with me? <laughs> and she said, Mother, you know nothing, you're going there, and you're not shy, not this. I tell her, girl, mm. and now we come to the pink and all of that. I uh -huh. tell her, oh, girl, Channel 5 on there. Mm. He said, Oh, my, they never tell me that. Then <laughs> <laughs> I get, I get, pray that. Watch, watch, watch. Yeah. Oh, my. But, you're yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, nice, nice. Anybody on this side? I mean, that I work, and when I did that work, they come me and everything. And I thank God I work with her, you know, mm -hmm. because we like to try to move the 
Yeah. Uh -huh. So I thought I phone back because I said, oh, mm -hmm. so, 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 Cancer Society, yes. I'm train ready. All right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Were you? Well, me, um, when my daughter came from school, because she's in Fort Farm, uh -huh. she said, Mom, you are very lucky. We, they chose you, one of the mothers from Channel 5. I said, hmm, I did think twice. Mm -hmm. What should I do if I should go or no? said, Mom, you should go and enjoy yourself. It's yeah. your day. Yeah, right? well, I thank her so much for that. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. I feel so good. And Tara, <laughs> Sita, she likes giving us the last words, right? Come on, Steve. <laughs> tell us. Yeah, tell us. Well, um, Hold the microphone up from here. There you it's go. It's the same with me. I'm like Tuesday, Tuesday in the evening. I was relaxing when my daughter almost passed by my house. And she tell me, I have a surprise for you, ma. Mm -hmm. Like, what? A surprise? Um, they selected you for Mother's Day on Channel 5. Oh, my God. That, who did do that? <laughs> that name, I mean, that's a big surprise for you. <laughs> enjoy. You no, know, no, be shy. Uh -huh. You have to go and enjoy yourself. That's your day, she yeah. told me. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so, most of you have started your journey from motherhood quite a while ago because mm -hmm. you have uh, older children, you have adult children. But I want you to think back to when you had your first child and uh, the realization that life as a mother was different. Go all the way back to that time and tell me about what happened to make you realize that this is it. I, I am a mother now. Mm, as bad as you, you looked up in the sky. You're shaking your head like <laughs> yeah. you have the memory already. <laughs> tell me. All right. Well, when I had my first child, I was so happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, well, you know what? Mom, I had my first son, so. Mm -hmm. I'll have to take my responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I told her father, this is the first child I have. Right? So anyway, I raised my son from baby until he was 14 years old. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then their dad went there only after the last one born. Mm -hmm. And my son began to work at the age of 14 years old. Wow. And he sustained the my family, the family yeah. from my mother to my father. Mm -hmm. is sustained, okay? I mean, when I have the second one, mm -hmm. everybody was mad at me. I said, Ma, why do you have an ex one, you know? You shouldn't have an ex one. Even now, the your older one telling me, why you have that one there for <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, that's my baby, yeah. you know? He said, no, my, it shouldn't, Destiny said, it should only be me alone. <laughs> oh. That she's more closer than the rest of yeah. me, you know. So she said, um, you shouldn't have Kimberly, mommy. I said, no, babe, that's a baby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know? So I keep minding my kids when he went away. I raise my kids. I take two other kids, which is not mine. Oh, wow. From six months old until they turn woman and man, mm -hmm. they went their own direction. Okay, alright. Yeah. Nice. What about you? Uh -huh. Well, I remember when I got my first legal gun from San Ignacio to bring me away to Belize City. As I'm so afraid and so much pain and look at all kind of things that go through my head at the end of the time. But when the baby born, mm -hmm. man, you feel like you know what I put on down? Yeah. You feel like the only you got baby. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you know what? I never used to put on down in any way till I get used to hand. Then I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm sorry that I get used to hand because if I wash, then the time I'm scrubbing board, I yeah. have to put on right here. Mm -hmm. When I go and pin out clothes, I have to put on on the side and put the line low, 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 so that I put it. got sling. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> So when I got the next one, I say, uh uh, <laughs> no kind of hand. But that may a good experience if we have the first baby because you feel so good. All right. 
Let's get Miss. Let's get Miss. Miss. Miss T. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, uh, my first son he born a Kayo, Bridgeway Falls. The my ma take care of me. I never gone to hospital, no hospital. Really? Uh, only from where she is a midwife. Mm -hmm. And she take care, take care of me. And I, and I, my baby born, no hospital. Mm -hmm. And my ma take care of me, my, with my first, first son. Then I move on with my ma. So I gonna leave the, the San Antonio. Afterwards, we're gonna leave the cricket hood there, our village, mm -hmm. Ali village. They found there, the from there, they ate picnic. I right, they the born the cricket hood. Cricket hood. Yes, mm -hmm. cricket hood. Wow. Eight of them. Okay. Yes, uh, but I, do, I don't know. I don't have no experience the hospital. I take You've care of myself. You have me all your babies me at and home. My, all my babies at home. Wow. Only me and my husband. My wow. husband, I take him just like a doctor. <laughs> really? Yes. Up wow. to now, I am 65 years old. Up to now, I take care of my kids. All of them, thanks God. They grow, yeah. none of them die. Yeah. Yes. Wow. They right. <laughs> <laughs> must trying to imagine that one. Miss <laughs> <laughs> them. Yeah, share with us. My first experience was Patrick. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Patrick? Patrick, my oldest. All right. When I had Patrick, it was pain, pain, pain. Yeah, hold the mic and tell me about Patrick. Mm -hmm. But when I give birth, the pain was worth everything. I make sure in a hospital, I don't go to sleep. Because I feel like the only me one have baby. I feel oh, like see? that the only for me. <laughs> so when I see one leave hands, I kill the fly. And I kill the hands. I say, no, 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 but it's my, my baby. baby. Yeah. So when time to go home and everything, and my mom bring me home and everything, he said, no. When I look the night, one cockroach is flying at the house. Mm -hmm. I get up and kill it. I said, no, I bite my baby. <laughs> so every little thing was a protection. Yeah. And when I had Lester, I even protect them more. Yeah. And by the time I have the fifth one, mm -hmm. I say God knows best. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And after the fifth one, I inherit four for my husband. Mm -hmm. So that made the total of nine. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it was a rough experience, mm -hmm. but the journey, would I do it all over again? Mm -hmm. We we'll have more kids already. No, 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 no. I'm glad you touched that. We'll get to that. But let, let's hear your yeah. first aha moment when you, when you uh, had your first child. I had my first child when I was 18 years old. Okay. I was going to high school, then I have to drop out because I have to take care, take of, care yeah. of my son. I had a son. And being in my life, although he changed. Oh, no. no I mean, we, we are, right? So, yeah. That's love. That's the yeah, love that's that you're love feeling. That, you know, and, and a lot of people might see, might, might see you and say, wow, it's a sad moment. That's the love that you've got oh, for your love. child. Yeah. I love them so much. Yes, of course, yeah. of yeah. course. You know, I, 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 Deborah said something and I wanted to talk about that this morning because I'm sure you have your experiences. Raising your first child uh, versus the last baby. Times change. Mm -hmm. You know, I come from a big family too. I'm number six of six. And everybody baby. says what mom did with me, <laughs> that it, they didn't do with the older ones. But she always says the times are different. Yeah. You raise children based on what their environment. Well, how difficult was it as as the country progressed, the children got more exposed? What changed about your own mothering style? And I want to ask you that because you said if you were to have kids today, it'd be no. No, no. You you know, battle on one, one cell phone no. and, and Facebook, right? No, no. no, no. <laughs> when I think back from then till now, uh -huh. having Patrick uh -huh. was more easier for me because mm -hmm. things was much cheaper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You could afford certain things. Yeah. But even though it was still rough, because when he went to high school, he always reminded me, Mom, remember I only had one pants and two shirts, you know. Mm -hmm. So when he hit the second one, 
the second one would get now like three shirts and one pants. Mm -hmm. I said times is hard, but at least you get one shirt. When he hit the third one, things come a little bit rougher. Yeah. Life get a little bit harder. I said, Lord have mercy, I need you very much here now. <laughs> when I had Andrew, I said, God, why? Because when I had Andrew, I had already had a tire. So I didn't expect to get pregnant again. So when he came, that was your surprise. Yeah, that was surprise, my surprise baby. Because then I feel bad. And when I feel bad and everything, I said, what's going on with me? I know I'm not pregnant. Yeah. <laughs> so when I went to the hospital and everything, the doctor said, have you taken a pregnancy test? I laughed because I said, Doc, I already get a tire, so how would I get pregnant again? So when they take the test and everything, the diagnosis center was upstairs at Juanita and Sons. Yeah. So by the time I went there and everything, the doctor said, congratulations. I said, congratulations for what? I am pregnant. I said, what? <laughs> <laughs> I was angry. Yet I was nervous because I said, how can I be pregnant when I know I already get a tire? I said, Dad, I could show my tire. I get a tire. He said, well, time passed, it didn't work. Yeah. I said, okay, when I had Maisha, I didn't know I was pregnant with her. You didn't know again? Mm -mm, oh, that one my I did goodness. know. Uh -huh. Because every month I still have my, you know. Your month, yes. So that was a surprise. And when she born, she was so small, she was a premature. Oh. So she taken a lot of care. And every time that they visit, mm -hmm. and the money was when you have a premature baby, they are special care. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I find money I didn't know I had. Mm -hmm. So I always believe that God permits things to happen in our life to get us stronger. Yeah. By the time I had my son, I had four more other children that came into my life. Into your life, yeah. And I knew that I had to be a mother for them. Yeah. And when I look back at my own kids and my stepchildren, I had to bring two families together as one. And because I have did that, I didn't know it's then that when cancer hit me by the age of 27. So I have a little things going on. Life was already done rough by then. Mm -hmm. Husband was giving kind of trouble and everything. Mm -hmm. And I had to find strength within myself that I didn't know I had. Yeah. And my motivation when I look back at that experience Having cancer mm -hmm. made me what I am today. Of course. And when I look back and say, God chose me for a purpose, yeah. and a purpose I had to fulfill, even though there were times when I wanted to give up when things was getting so rough, mm -hmm. and I asked God, why me? I keep questioning God and say, God, why me? Yeah. What did I ever do in my life that was so wrong mm -hmm. for this to happen to me? And it went on until I heard a voice said, I choose you for a purpose. Yes. You know, because my experience, I can help another woman like myself. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was taught from a young age, as women, we must never put on each other. Yeah. We must always try everything that we can to uplift each other. Yeah. And I have made that even more possible. Mm -hmm. But if I had to do it all over again, I don't regret having my children. Yeah. I don't regret being a mother. But I would not have children today in today times. I am sorry. Name one. It's harder. Not no, yeah. because it's much harder. It's much harder. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be so lucky if you can afford food on the table, you yeah. understand? And the chicken alone is expensive. If Everything is getting chicken. if you want to eat chicken. <laughs> and who cannot afford chicken food? I pity them. Yeah. Because <laughs> I find joy in that. <laughs> you understand? <laughs> so looking back, things was much. Yeah. cheaper than now. Yeah. So yeah. I don't think I would want to bring children into this world today. Yeah. This generation here to punish. I am sorry. But right. you are welcoming grandchildren, yes. right? Yes. So when your children have children, what's the number one advice that you give them? What's the first thing? Well, the first thing I told my daughter, she knows she has a responsibility. And you have a child, so you have to have a job. Yes. So she said, Mommy, she said, I'm going to take a test with the army. I said, what? She said, I'm going to join BDF. I said, remember, you have a son. I can't provide milk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so anyway, she went on her journey. Yes. One week later, she called. I said, Mommy, I feel like coming home back. Mm -hmm. I said, why? She said, these people want to lash me with machete. What? I said, you know what? 
you have a son. I mine you, you mine your son. Yeah. And he stayed there and passed out. He spent six years. The BDF. The BDF. She do a part of mental transfer and yeah. she became a nurse. Wow. Yeah, she oh, became yeah. a nurse. So you told her if you're going to have a child, she you have to have, have a responsibility. It's your responsibility, you need to right. have a job. So she has four kids, mm -hmm. two girls, two boys. Wow. And I'm so proud of my grandkids. I raised them because I was a caretaker at the time. Yeah. Yeah. And I raised them from baby until yet. The oldest one is 15. They can bring my plate of food on the table and put there. They can make their own turtles, wash their own clothes. I was in Kaya and I went to see the doctor. Every night I have an eight-year-old grandson. Mm -hmm. Granny, this is your water, this is your pills. I will set the phone on alarm. You can get up at one o'clock and drink your drink medication. Your Whenever he wakes in the morning, he goes and check. Gran, want to see if I die. <laughs> yeah. He wants to see if you take your pill. <laughs> no, he said, he go shake you. Yes, he go shake me. <laughs> Gran, so when I tell him I'm going to Belize, he said, what you going to do? Who you take that bag that Belize? Mm -hmm. I tell him I'm coming back. Mm -hmm. You know, because they're so loving and I mind. Yeah, I yeah. had yeah. 11 grandchildren. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, my that's oldest one son have one daughter. Mm -hmm. He's Kenton Galvez. Mm -hmm. You know Kenton Kenton Gal the microwave? Oh, yeah, that's my <laughs> oldest son. <laughs> so who else gave advice? What, tell, tell me the advice you gave to your children when they became parents. Well, right now I don't have no grandchildren. Uh, ah. yeah. My big son is in Panama doing ah. some missionaries. Okay, that's okay. nice. That's nice. I, I always advise them before they have children, yeah. try to get your education, build your house. Then, then if you want to get married, I want them to get married. Yeah. Then, get kids. Okay, that's nice. Uh -huh. Anybody when my daughter come and tell me, Ma, I'm pregnant. Tell her, well, baby, that that you. Just remember you are mine. Tell her, come me now, my nun. And I still end up the mine. Of course. <laughs> always. Yes. But she, she may always work. So yeah. she found, before she got to she daughter, she worked. She, yeah. she only started at 14. Wow. Okay. Yeah, got to um, high school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She in a third farm. All right. Yes, but I tell her, she mine. I said, Mommy, I'm provider. I tell her, well, no, you out of the picture, that the baby, no. Yes. So she have to start to buy, left herself. After buy this panty, I need a panty. I tell her, well, see who need it more. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to left out yourself. Yes. To buy, make the baby look good. I tell her, and so. Then she have to left out herself. All right. All right. Now, Mr. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Yes. T tell me about your. Well, I have a. Um, 11 grand in Pikney. Mm -hmm. all the biggest one is, she name is um, Rojani Alvarado. Mm -hmm. um, she is going to um, Six Farm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is my older um, daughter. daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, she's, she's have a four, four child. Um, three girls and one boy. One boy. Yeah. And what did you tell her when she was Well, I try to one? encourage my daughter make she push on make she continue yeah. give her um continue don't be um the um, the, um six farm mm -hmm. and that's it i make she graduated yes, yes. because without education you are nothing Shall just like me yeah. mm -hmm. i don't have no i know i don't have no education because my dad and my mom yeah. you know they don't give me education in a, my days, yeah. yes. But you know, to your, so, to your, to your children, you're yeah. still the yes, smartest yes, person. Yes, yes, I have to encourage them. Yeah. Yes. So to your children, you win the top award. Of course. And based on your stories, mm -hmm. uh, that is the case. Let, let me ask uh, one more thing. I think when um, I was thinking back, you mentioned graduation. Mm -hmm. I was at Pink yesterday and I saw a mother and daughter picking out graduation dresses. Oh my God. She saw her daughter come out in the dress and she said, you're going to make me cry. Oh. <laughs> and I think of the highlights that you have as mothers. Graduation is obviously one, but tell me, just share with me one of the most proud moments that you have with your children that you could barely hold back the tears when you think about yeah. it. Because I know you have them. All moms have them. Proud moment. Tell me those mm -hmm. proud where you just could not be happier to be the mother of this child. Well, 
when my when destiny got as a matter of fact she's not destiny right under her facebook she marked destiny that's my grandbaby mm -hmm. uh -huh. her first name is scarlett okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. yes when she started high school i encouraged her i want you to pass but i don't want you to look for no boyfriend mm -hmm. so one day i got mad hmm? and i whip her <laughs> she said mommy you don't have to beat me he said, I am the one who will graduate, and I am the one who will make you walk in church. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you know, I didn't regret that when, uh, when that child graduated, mm -hmm. she graduated. And by the 9th of October, or something went wrong there, mm -hmm. she got married. I was so happy at that moment. Walk I could I danced until <laughs> I could move When you start stop. walking down the yeah, aisle, because I had to walk her up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, I was so Pro, I was happy. All right, wow. proud moment. Tell me yep. another moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, me, I'm proud and I see my legal and graduate because men and then graduate with honors. Wow. And when then they walk there and oh my, I like, I just, I want to stop crying, but they don't want to yeah. stop. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm very proud of it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm proud to see my children graduate, mm -hmm. then go to school. They're fast learners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They do their homework. When they march up that aisle, they graduate with honors. They make me proud because they have that wasted my time and then time. Yeah. They do good. Excellent. Yeah. My greatest channels was all my kids are very smart. But the one channel I had was Andrew. Mm -hmm. He used to always feel like he cannot do this or he cannot do that. In my house, I don't believe in a never, never say never. Mm -hmm. Never say can. Never say you cannot. So when he, when he would get home, mother, I cannot do this. I used to always beat her. I had to beat her because he was the darkest in my house. I had to let him understand, never let the color of your skin defy who you are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Always make yourself be put and uplift yourself. Mm -hmm. And if I can do it, you're going to do it. And every day I work along and I work along. And my greatest pleasure when all of them graduate, but when Andrew graduated, that was the greatest joy. Yeah. Because then I know how I push and push and push to let him be where he is today. Yeah. So when I see him graduate out of standard six, he said, Mom, I'm going to make you proud. Yeah. I'm going to make you proud. And I proud of all the rest, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But when you see the one that you have struggled with so yeah. long, to see him where he is, and even cry because he said, Mom, it's because of you I am this way. And yeah. thank you for beating me. Yeah. But you know what, Mom? If you may do it today, dear, you know what may happen, child service, and I'll <laughs> <you> today. <laughs> <laughs> so I smile and I said, you know what, child service, can't come to my house. Son, <laughs> That's why you can't have kids nobody, these days, right? <laughs> nobody, no government, nobody cannot tell me oh. how I am to raise my children. Because if I left them in the hands of the world, maybe they would not be here today. Yeah. So I had to do my part as a mother, and I had to be the stronghold in my family. So now that I look back at everything, my greatest children are knowing that when I went to a graduation, that is the greatest part of any mother. Nice. You understand? Because we have known, we have done our part. Yep. And I tell them, now it's up to you now. You can choose to be whatever you all choose to be. Yeah. Just make me proud because I always remember when you go out there, you are a reflection of who I am as a mother. That's right. Mm -hmm. And lastly, Teresa, your proudest moment. You get to listen to everybody first. <laughs> Tell us about your proudest moment. Well, I'm proud with my nine children. Uh -huh. um, I have a son. He's, um, he's a BDF. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. But um, he has um, four, four children. Mm -hmm. the, the oldest one, she, did, um, she named Shanaya. Mm -hmm. She, did go to, um, she did attend um, comprehensive school in Belmopan. I proud of them. I so proud. Um, I want to see how she want to graduate. Oh, you to look forward to that yes. first grandchild yes. graduation. Yes. Um, um, just like with Rojani, yeah. uh -huh. she's in a six farm. Yeah. I'm so happy. This will, um, this coming year, then she will be um, this last year for oh, her. Okay. Yes. Beautiful. 
I'm uh, so proud of them. Uh -huh. I try to encourage them. I know they are watching me right now. Of course. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is watching right now. Yes. <laughs> of course. Yes. Ladies, but it's not over yet. There's lots uh. more to get into. And uh, we just wanted to find out a bit more about you. After we come back, mm -hmm. we're getting ready for some competition. Yes. That's coming up after the break. So stay tuned. Hey, I think Boutique. We believe that all mothers should look and feel special. That is why we are happy to give five mothers a fabulous makeover, pink boutique style. We carry a wide selection of clothing, shoes, and accessories, so each unique mom can find their own look. <laughs> When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Channel 5 introduces 
The Daily Obituaries The Daily Obituaries will broadcast all death and funeral announcements and memorials to honor your loved one's life and memories. The Daily Obituaries airs on Channel 5 prior to the evening newscast with subsequent repeats at 10 p.m. and 12 noon the following day. It will also be placed online on our social media platforms, all for a standard package fee. Celebrate their lives and memories with Channel 5's daily obituaries. Honor in life and reverence in death. If you're looking for low-cost television advertising, have we got a deal for you. Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, Promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you save valuable time and money. Call us today at 223-0146 or visit us at our offices on Pony Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Dedicated to all the mothers out there. Yeah. My name is Lincoln Iki LG. The song is entitled My Mama. Real story. Listen up. Used to beg a ride from a child. Used to walk about four miles. No food, no place to sit and dine. Belly, I go hungry, but me still a smile. Work hard for everything me got, yeah. Grind hard, me never gonna stop, yeah. Grind hard, sunshine all the time. One day, Linky got to fly. Enough of them, I freeze when I send me fees. Shake them on the tree, got to get the keys to my visa. But I bind them, for for find them. Align them straight behind them. Original sign them. Night check, sleeve check, shades check. Enough of them, I vex. Crease in my jeans when me touch a breeze fresh Real destiny so me have to sneeze rich No boy can touch my song to find it No boy can rob my ship no pirate Cause it's my way, yes it's my way, yes it's my way Ay. Nobody can stop me now Nobody can show me how Cause it's my way, yes it's my way, yes it's my way Ay. But I'm boss, nobody can stop it Man I run like a stray jacket Tire bun like a automatic Hypnotic stop traffic Yalla ball at the hat it Bus fast it Chromatic Man I knock it She a ball him a ball World war Seminar Seminar Kill a man Kill a done funeral Him a run Get along Just like the veteran Man I run Just like the Amazon Roll out Just like a cinnamon Man I sin Cinnamon them a run Father God I me gun, me no stun, me no done Demon just have a bun Roll out, stroll out, hold out, yeah, yeah, yeah Nobody can stop me, no Nobody can show me how Cause it's my way, yes it's my way, yes it's my way, eh Nobody can stop me, no Nobody can show me how Cause it's my way it's it's my way, it's it's my way, eh? You know, I used to think it was my way, but it's my mother's way. True story. Without my mom, I wouldn't be here today. And I used to beg a ride from a child, and my mom showed me that the hard way works at times. Although you're poor, you can still make it. I used to beg a ride from a child. Used to walk about for my heels No food, no place to sit and dine Belly, I go hungry, but me still a smile Work hard for everything me got, here. Yeah. Grind hard, me never gonna stop, yeah Grind hard, sunshine all the time One day, Linky got to fly Thank you so much, mom God bless yeah. <laughs> Wow. Welcome back day. and yes. thank you so much for that performance yeah, there. Of good. course. Was good. Lincoln Jones, 
uh, doing that original piece there. Yeah, it's uh, my way. Yes. LJ. Oh. I mm. liked it, man. But Mar, while we continue to have this fun with our lovely mothers, because yes. you guys are lovely, we've got another segment on. That's right. And and uh, we're about to, uh, I think it's a game. We got some games. We got the games <laughs> coming up in a few, yeah. <laughs> Look at Miss D, yeah? Who, yeah. Who's really competitive here? Let me hear. Who's competitive? Yeah. If you're competitive, you're something right. tells me I that like when Josephine you own is. It. I like when you own yeah, it. Yeah. Josephine is so <laughs> softball and yeah. all that. I was, I was going to say, uh, if she had to be at all those games cheering for her girls, and I'm sure the competitive spirit come out. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. You play too. You teach them. You pass on the skills. <laughs> so who's the best softball player in the family? And get you in trouble? Yeah. I got two daughters. good. <laughs> Uh -huh. I got two that are good, one that the catcher and mm -hmm. the one one that um the shot stop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The next one plays center field mm. uh -huh. and I play second base. Oh really? Yeah. All right. I like that. So you guys get together and play softball? Yeah. Yeah. We play with um Rebels United. Okay. For United Bill. Okay. They're yeah. always in the news too in yeah. terms of making uh -huh. things happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody that's just in go over this play softball. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> but in this day and age, it's really hard to find things to do with your entire family. Uh, there's so many distractions, they get older. Mm -hmm. What do you do with your kids to ensure that they can come together? Uh, maybe there's a special dish that you make that if you say if you're making it, you know everybody and come. Um, I know that's a trick my mom uses sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but what do you do to try to keep the family together? Because I know it's hard as they get older. Well, to keep my family together, mm -hmm. I'm a football fan. My Oi. son played football, you know uh -huh. that, son. Kent on the microwave. Right. Uh -huh. My daughter played softball, mm -hmm. two of them. And Chuck and Seal. Yes. Mm -hmm. Jacqueline. Yes. She's a Chuck and Seal. Mm -hmm. And so to have them together would be a spoon cabbage dinner. Oh, and they love to have that. You would get me come to your host and pretend to be a kid. <laughs> 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 so I. Carl Kenton and uh -huh. I said, you know what, I'm doing a cocoon cabbage dinner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the older girl, she's mostly like into the Creole beer. She don't yeah. care for cocoon cabbage. Cahoon cabbage. Yeah. But the kids love it. Yeah. So the kids would say, Mommy, let's go to Granny. Just Granny cooking cocoon cabbage yeah. today. <laughs> so and they like hudut because they like how I made hudut. You make one mean one too? Yes. What? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my daughter was working and it's and I said, oh, what? Who made that hood? Said so my mom. Mm -hmm. He said, it's most a girl from a lady teacher. <laughs> I said, no. my mom learned it by his own self. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. And uh, how, you, how, how you keep your crowd together? Hmm. My crowd, we always sit together. Sometimes we the home. We would have buy a um, like puzzle. And we would have tear out one page each. And yeah. we would say, we would play puzzle now. Mm. We would say, who would win? And everybody just scratch everybody. Then when Sunday, uh -huh. I wake me up. My way time softball. If we are start eleven, we have to start to get ready for nine. Yeah. yeah. So my family, we always are together. Yeah. We all we do everything together. I, I like you see. If, if, even a competitive if, one. Even if we want eat, we are eat together. Mm -hmm. yeah. We do every, everything together. Awesome. We do yeah, yeah everything. Yeah. We go, go over go here together. <laughs> <laughs> but you have <laughs> adult kids, you could go yeah. and go <laughs> out with them now. Yeah? I like that. I yeah. go out, I came in four o'clock morning. When? She got two boys. When? Up to this edge, I go out. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I love to dance. Yes. <laughs> yes. When we walk on the street and destiny, mother said, Ma. I feel bad. I said, shut your mouth, you on the street. Let's go home. Miss <laughs> <laughs> D, tell us. Tighten the sled, don't go out. <laughs> <laughs> She's still the thing about her phone. Yeah. Yeah. But how do you keep them? How, how do you, you bring them, them all together? Them together? Back? together yeah. Football and basketball. Okay. Uh -huh. We live in front of a court. Uh -huh. And then Patrick usually like cook. Mm -hmm. And you like cook, Maisha like cook. Yeah. I know that everybody get big, I be able to cook. So I make sure, my way in my mood for you today, the day that I cook. No me, I like the name of bed and relax myself, I like my books. And I like enjoy my Nigerian movies. Whee! So I make sure I get my relaxation. Why you do that though? 
because then I just like, you know, you get older in a life. Mean, I don't need for no juke catch for me. If I make juke catch for me, I don't look how I look to the day. Yeah. 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 So I need for take care of me right now. But and you still love when they all come together. Oh, yes, I love when they come together and I relax in you know, my bed. Yeah. Yeah. You know, my and they bed. clean up often themselves too? Not all the time, not all the time. Not all the time, not all the time. Not all the time, not all the time. Let's go to Teresa. Teresa, yeah. how do you get all your family together? Well, we always, we always together. Uh -huh. yeah. Especially the BDF, he like party. Mm -hmm. Oui. Yes, like for Sunday, they, I think they will have a big party. They plan the their own house parties yes, for yes. you. They always reach at my house because I got a big board yeah. house. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, I can say, if they don't reach every day, they they beside me because yeah. I am the one that they depend on me. Yeah. I cook, I make tortillas, I make escabeche, I make tamales. Hungry. Mm. Yes. Especially my daughter, she's there with me right now. Yeah. Uh -huh. She like to reach and make the black dinner. Uh, yes. Relleno. Well, yeah, I, want <laughs> I want gizzard. <laughs> 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 well, basically, with me, um, everybody lives with me at the moment, okay. right? Oh, now. so you yeah. always have yeah. them together. And when I go out, like for the summer, for a week or two, they miss my food because <laughs> oh. they love the way I cook, What's and they eat everything where I cook. What's their favorite thing that you cook? It's cabbage. Yeah. Goodness, man. <laughs> I like that. I so I imagine food. all of you will have all your family together on Sunday. Sunday yeah. You know, every Mother's Day it gets harder and harder to try to figure out what to get your mother, yeah. or what, how to show your appreciation. Tell me what's your favorite Mother's Day memory or Mother's Day gift that you've gotten from your children. Anybody? All right, let's mm. start right here. We, we just finished. Let's start with you. Your favorite Mother's Day moment or favorite gift? The favorite Mother's Day moment or gift that I get from my kids is they're the first one to get up in the morning and hug me mm. and tell me Happy Mother's Day. So mm -hmm. a hug and Happy Mother's Day. As you That's open all your I need. You don't have to give me no um, gift or present. The love is yeah. unconditional. Yeah, excellent. Ever. With me now, know that my kids are getting older, mm -hmm. I make sure I let all of them understand. Don't give me no household appliances. <laughs> no blender. No blender, no nothing. <laughs> Why? Because I already have them. Uh -huh. And if you give me them, you are telling me I'm supposed to work for the rest of my life in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I don't want that. What, mom, what do you want? I like look good. Honestly. Uh -huh. Jewelry. I don't even matter jewelry. I only put on here because that's an important event. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but I like smell good. I like my perfume. Mm. Yeah. I like shoes. I love shoes. Uh -huh. I love shoes. You know what the song, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bindi, right? I love shoes. And I like nice things. It doesn't have to be expensive. But yeah. give me from your heart. Yeah. Yeah. But the greatest treasure I would want for anyone to write me a poem mm. from your hand, not by the poem, not by the card, by the but write it, it holds me more to my heart. Oh, excellent, okay. excellent. And, and, and this side? Mm -hmm. Well, the greatest Mother's gift, Day gift from God, from Mother's my Day moment. kids was the love they give to me. Yeah. I told them I don't care for anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I always have a little friend to tell him, don't give me flowers while I die. Yeah. Give me it when I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> You know? So everybody will come together and whosoever can't reach will text and say happy Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. Yeah. 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 So that's All the greatest right. thing All for right. me. Josephine? Well, I still got my poems and my hearts and letters and things with my daughter and give me because they write out their own thing mm -hmm. and they make them card and the older one, she would have make the card mm -hmm. and make the next two sign. And then they come and they give me that. So I still have all of them. All of them? Them. Yes, yeah, because, and, yeah. and they know. Me, I like, like old lady say, me like, she like the perfume, me like lotion, perfume, mm. and then thing. Then they say, ma, I want to buy you a, a, a washing machine because you want to go in. I tell her, I don't want nothing for the house. Because then that not be for me, that not be for we. <laughs> so 
I want something where I be for me. Yeah, so if you can't give me something for me, then not give me nothing. <laughs> Miss Teresa, <laughs> what about for you? Your your Mother's Day um, gift or proud moment? Well, since yesterday, I I get a gift from my early granddaughter. Uh -huh. She come and hug me, and also my my grand my my daughters too. They, they gave me a big hug yesterday. Yeah. Yes, and being proud of me all the time. Yeah, <laughs> man, I can only See, imagine. For everybody who's stressing over presents, it's a lot simpler than you think, right? Yeah. Of course, it's spending time, showing love, and just giving something for mom, not that you think mom needs. Yeah. Right? No washing machine, no blender. No, not. But I always need the love. <laughs> yep. And the one condition, my, my person sick. So I need the love from my children. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to give me anything. Just the love. the love. Well, we want to give you something, but yes. you have to work for it a little bit here, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> they're not your kids. <laughs> <laughs> but we have some games lined, uh, lined up for today. Mm -hmm. And they're really easy. They're really fun. It's just who can answer the fastest. Who so the fastest? have the mics ready and who talk first that's the first answer we'll hear right yep and for these you actually uh will be getting five points each per answer all right so are we ready something tell me josephine no she ready all too right. <laughs> all right and it has to be the correct answer so has everybody answer. read nursery rhymes to their children right yes. and those who have young grandkids or young babies are at a disadvantage are at an advantage because you have it more fresh on your mind so we are going to give you the first line of a nursery rhyme and you have to finish correctly. Not the one you used to make up. Yeah. Correctly, the line that comes afterwards. The right? original. Mm -hmm. So hmm. are you ready? <laughs> Miss T, you ready? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So the first one says, remember, it's the person who gives the answer correctly. Have those mics ready. First. Five points. In Humpty Dumpty, who was responsible for putting him back together? Kingsman. And? <laughs> half? That's half? That's that's half. You got 2.5 points so far. Unless somebody all else the king's answer. horses and all king's men. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> all right. So that's actually, that's five points. One per time. Five points. All right. In Hickory Dickory Dock. Who ran up the clock? Mouse. The mouse. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. In an unfortunate, uh, in an unfortunate event, these two went up the hill. Chuck and Jim. <laughs> <laughs> so we have one for Josephine, we have one for Theodora, and we have one for Carmelita. Come on, Miss D. Come on, Miss D. All right. In this story, the utensil ran away with the spoon. The spoon. The spoon. I asked All the competitive right. first. Competition. Uh -huh. All right. In pat a cake, this was how you were to mark the cake for the baby and me. Pat it and mark the cake. Okay, I don't know who won that one. That one was great. Judges, that was judges great. score. <laughs> George and outside George, I heard everybody talking. All right, so we need the correct answer. I'll read it again, All right. but we need the correct answer. Okay. In pat a cake, this was how you were you were to mark the cake for the baby and me. Mark it, mark it and be the baby, <laughs> baby and me. <laughs> Baker's man. <laughs> oh, it isn't correct yet. Oh. You're, you're, you guys so you said mark it with a B. You said mark it with a B. You said mark it with a B. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not market with a B. Uh, that's actually a hint here. Mm -hmm. It's not market with a B. Uh, listen to me. It's not market with a B. In pat Make cake, me a cake as fast as you can. Pat it and prick it and mark it with it. a B mm -hmm. for baby yeah, and me. Simar. <laughs> <Smart. laughs> <laughs> I have to be there. I always thought it was B. I thought it was B. But, but according to what we are reading here, and this is uh, <laughs> well researched, it's market with a P. P. Mm -hmm. oh. P. P. Yes. 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 Market with a. All right, so nobody win that nobody one. Nobody won that one. Let's move on. Uh -huh. Miss Mary Mack, who dressed in this color. Black. 
Josephine, you were on, Josephine. All right, so it's three Josephine, one Carmelita, one Theodora. All right, and that, those were the six questions, actually. We have more coming up, and mm -hmm. it will be the cumulative score of all the games. So everybody has a chance to make it back. Uh, are there more questions there are more to the back? There more questions to the back? All right, so here we go. Oh, this is, again, okay, so this one is now Creole Sings. Hmm. Mm. <laughs> How are we supposed mm. to know what I want? Come on, Miss D. Creole Sage. Creole Sage. All right. This is the result of being hard is. You make your bed hard, just sleep on it. Hard is pick me always feel. The result of being hard is. I'm going to pick me drop on your telly. No. <laughs> you know the cameraman knows the yeah. answer. Hard is picnic. Always feel. Hard is picnic. Gonna mark it two times. Bounce it. There go. All right. That's a good one. You okay. see? Okay. If you can't catch Harry, you will catch his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's over. Here. I think it's right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. All right. Oh, uh, oh. According to mothers, this was the one thing God no like. I think you're the be in the All right. If you were not listening, this is why. <laughs> We're not paying attention. Well, this one. Uh, 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 uh. If you were not listening, this is why. Stop. Because you're very stubborn and hard headed. My mom is stubborn. You said stubborn too. Mm -mm. <laughs> that not eat up. Anybody know the answer? Because you're not know paying attention. All right. If you were not listening, this is why. Uh, uh, this is why. You wasn't paying attention. But never made All right, attention. what's the time? We, uh, We're down right. to 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Nobody, no guess? If you were not listening, this is why. You feel? <laughs> All right, I'll tell you now, Creole. If you don't listen, this is why. Can I pay attention? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Can we need a true, true Creole now. Should stick stick in your ears. Stick in your ears. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like oh, you hear stick. All right, All right. Let's, let's, let's go to the next one. When you went to the shop, this was what you call the extra. Change. You get extra oh, than what you buy. This is one of my favorite Creole words. Mm. Come on, hello, the profit, come on. You go to the store, you then give you six and you pay for five. The last one, huh? Brata. There you go. <laughs> Josephine again, Josephine, Josephine. All right, and the last one says, when you picked up company, mommy didn't like, uh, mommy didn't like it, so she said this. No, when you picked up company, mommy didn't like. Mm -hmm. When okay. you have company, when what mommy have, didn't mommy like, like, she said this. Good job, that one. <laughs> <laughs> No. What you tell bad about company? Bad company. Uh huh. What you tell you about bad company? No good for you. Bad influence. Um, mm -mm. Bad company won't get you in a problem. Mm, no. <laughs> she never like your friends, and they tell you. Send them home. I I I would want to rephrase. I would want I to see? rephrase so it could be as easy as possible. All right. Your picnic friends. Like the, thing, like the things out there. Be and careful when you go out there. No, no, no. Right, stay away. Your, your picnic friends they like the thing out there. And then you tell us. Because your, your picnic tell you, well, no, I know they do that. Full stop. No, come on, bring them up to my house. No, because I want to. And I think that that's crazy. Do you like real? I think that that is D saying, but yeah. that's all right. So we're out of time. We're out of time now. Oh, and man. Show me your friends and I'll tell, tell, you you tell you who you are. You pick the friends that they do things out there. Pick the friends that they do it. He know they do it. 
Show me your friends. Or I'll tell you who you are. You're telling you not know, like the friends. Yeah. And you say, show All me right. your friends, <laughs> and I'll tell you who you are. All right, so that is our first uh, round. <laughs> we have more games coming up and a lot of chances for you guys to make up. Josephine is stealing the show right now. Yes. Uh, but that doesn't mean it's over. We're going to go ahead and take a break, and we'll be back in a few. Stay tuned. I never know. I never know. For over 20 years, Great Belize Television, Channel 5, has been the leader in award-winning local programming. We have also produced some of the best video commercials, documentaries, and live events for clients countrywide. And we continue to offer high-quality production services to maximize your advertising needs for your business or organization. From concept to completion, let us help you achieve your marketing goal by producing your commercial, documentary, graphic animation, live event, or even designing your website. Using state-of-the-art equipment and experienced personnel, we can make your ideas come alive. For more information, come see us on Coney Drive or give us a call at 223-0146 or 223-7781 or email us at gbtv at dtl.net. Great Belize Productions, making great television in Belize. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Channel 5 introduces the Daily Obituaries. The Daily Obituaries will broadcast all that and funeral announcements and memorials to honor your loved one's life and memories. The Daily Obituaries airs on Channel 5 prior to the evening newscast with subsequent repeats at 10 p.m. and 12 noon the following day. It will also be placed online on our social media platforms, all for a standard package fee. Celebrate their lives and memories with Channel 5's daily obituaries. Honor in life and reverence in death. Welcome back. What a special day it is. As much as it's a fun Friday, we're paying tribute to Mother's. This weekend is actually Mother's Day weekend, Marlene. That's right. Yep, and we've got five beautiful mothers. We've got, uh, we'll call them out, we'll call them out. We have Miss Deborah, um, actually Miss Carmelita Bardales is here with us. We have Francie Josephine. Woo, woo, competitive Ranza, Ranza, Ranza. <laughs> of course, we have Miss Teresa Ball. We have Teodora Salam. And of course, Miss Deborah Alvarado. So, so far, so good, ladies. Everybody, everybody, everybody having fun? Everybody having fun? Yep. Yeah. Yes. And let me add that nobody will be walking away from here empty handed. Absolutely not. We will take good care of you. All right. And, and so. And uh, before we progress with the show, I do want to say thank you to uh, some of the people who worked with us to ensure that. Uh, you guys get to have a great Mother's Day. So yes. we got to say thank you to Night and Day Photography, Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, Cuellos Distillery Limited, Quartz, San Pedro Belize Express, Suzanne Singh Photography, uh, Oatsil Day Spa, we have James Brody's and Company, Santiago Castillo Limited, LA Fashions, Best Western Biltmore. Uh-huh. We also have The Loft by Shads. We've got Om Shanti Yoga and Wellness Center. Tummy Cakes and Cupcakes, and I can't wait to have one. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got CGI as well. We've got the T-Shirt Factory, Pink Boutique, Ramada Princess in Belize City. We've got Tropigas, Traveler's Liquors, Medina's House of Jewelry, Santiago Castillo Limited, Quayas again. We have James Brody again, and College Mendes. Guys, we want to say a big thank you for partnering with us and making sure that our mothers are properly dealt with. That's mm. right. Mm. And a big thank you to Pink Boutique as well uh, for dressing up our ladies for the occasion. Mm, definitely. The games were wonderful. One of, the, one of those that stuck out to me, Marlene, was actually, um, uh, the, um, let me see here, let me see. This one stuck out to me. If you were not listening, this, uh, this is why. Stick broke in your ears. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that one, but that's, <laughs> All done now. <laughs> I, I want to get moving back, back into our conversations, mm -hmm. and I think that um, you know we were talking about 
uh, bringing the family together. And during the break, we're talking. Yeah. Josephine is saying she has an all-girls household. Uh, and I want to ask, uh, in having girls and boys in the house, uh, what, what's the difference? What, what do you find is the relationship that's different? Yeah. Yours is obviously all unique. All all girls. Girls. You have three girls and three granddaughters too. So mm. you you are all female. All female. But that makes for a different experience, right? Th talk to us. I got three and three. Wow. Uh -huh. What's the difference What's between it? them? What's that like for you? Hmm. Who's easier to deal with? Boys. What? <laughs> Why do you say why I you thought say boys yeah, more work? Why I say boys is because boys dress less. Than girls. Okay, so from that standpoint. From that point. What about girls? in terms of attitude? Attitude. I say girls. Uh huh. <laughs> I yeah. say girls. Yep. Okay. Anybody else? Different yeah. experience? Yes, but I find boys more easier for the care of. Okay. Because Why? because girls they put multi. What? Yeah, girls they multi understand and then you know my house and everything. I have one big moti in a boy and one big moti in a girl. Mm. And then when I look at Andrew, I said that I'm myself. I said, I said shame. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then when I look at Maisha, uh -huh. I said, Lord, have mercy on next one. <laughs> next one <are> <laughs> so then I realized that as mothers, we must be very careful mm -hmm. because then when the children start to occupy a certain way, yeah. we have to start to prepare for yourself and so take them very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, Ms. Madalas? Well, with the girls, uh -huh. I have no problem with the girls. One of them have attitude, mm -hmm. and one of the boys have attitude, but the rest, very calm Everybody and nice. Everybody's smooth and cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. yep. Where do you think they got the attitude from? Well, I don't know, not for me. <laughs> Everybody well, not for me. me. It could be from the Galvez family, but not from the... You blame. They always I blame the father. <laughs> They're always through it. But Josephine, Josephine, tell us about the experience of being all girls. Well, to me, I... I no see nothing bad with them, do they? Mm -hmm. Because to me, all of them sweet and good, they, mm -hmm. they do what I say. Funny, young when they're going to do something, I really look funny. I just sit and sit down. I'm like, no, I see people like you, you they talk, they, they listen, I tell them, he never raised really so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tell them, when my mother got the company, mm -hmm. that good time for we go play. Yes. I tell them, only then we used to go play, because even if we're not going to work for them, we might find things for me. Yeah. yeah. But my girls, eh, my girls, are eh, sweet. I can't complain. You like your league girls, club. You like girl. Yes, but. My youngest daughter have a little brother. He done 18, but he stay with me right now. Oh, there you go. So, at, um, daughter said, Ma, you ever think you're going to have a big son? Because mm. he said, see your big son there. I tell her, yes, that I'm a big son. Nice. But he, he not give no trouble. Yeah. He, and he humble. Mm -hmm. nice. So, that, and I've got no kind of experience from small yeah. baby boy and so on. Yeah. Uh -uh. All right. Listen. Any up. difference with the girls and boys? Well, who hard up raise, yeah. Who gave more trouble? Well, me when I raise my chicken, my 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 <laughs> children. <laughs> <laughs> I now have no no headaches with them because uh -huh. I treat them the way how for, for I encourage them. I I not tolerate to make them go out and play and things like that. No, mm -hmm. um. So the way how I raise them. I teach them a good lesson mm -hmm. and I and I always encourage them the same. Make them encourage their children to always um, well everybody out of nine children I have I don't have no complaint with them. Uh, wow. Now Deborah said something mm -hmm. and it, you know what comes to my mind? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you tell your children too when they give you trouble. Don't worry when you have your own. You want to feel it. They will feel, feel it. They will be like you or worse. Dad, I tell my you know, before I heard right. I win. So they tell you that too. I was right? talking to my granddaughter tonight. I tell you how much of it is true. How much? I, when you talk about Andrew being a mirror image of you, 
Um, and when you have kids who sometimes, I mean, they're not perfect. They're yeah. learning yeah. to become great mm -hmm. adults and great citizens. And you see them and you sit to yourself, Imagine what my mother went through. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tell me about those moments now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I was, like I say, I was talking to my granddaughter one night. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I tell them, baby, you kids got it good. Mm -hmm. I said, when I was growing up, it was so hard. Mm -hmm. You know, and I was talking and I was crying at the situation mm -hmm. that we went through when we were a kid. I said, you know what? When I was a kid, I could never say no to my dad mm -hmm. and my mom. I said, and the next thing, I could never teeth from my parents. Mm -hmm. I said, that is not good. Mm -hmm. I said, but you know what happened? I used to plant rice, I used to plant corn, and I have to get up at barefoot and go through that bush to plant that rice. And every day we cry. I said, and you know what my dad said? No, baby, we have to make that money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to eat. I said, and I cry one night, and I tell my dad, I said, why me? Why we? You know? I said, because my cousin is getting an education and we have to go and plant, right? Mm -hmm. He said, don't worry about that. I even told him my father didn't have a good job and he used to load rose wood. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we didn't have anything. My dad would come with a two pack of biscuit, or a pack yeah. of tea bag and a two pound of sugar. And at 11 o'clock that night, he would wake us up and say, get up and eat something. Yeah. You know, and I cry about it. I tell him about you kids right now. As you said, Mommy, I want a shoes. You get, get one it. today, you chew that one outside. Mm -hmm. I said, that's not the way. Yeah. I said, our days, we used to happy when we have one. But you kids don't happy. <laughs> oh mm -hmm. my yeah. gosh. Yeah. Stories, mm -hmm. these yeah. stories. Yep. I know my kids, them almost like how I was raised up. Uh -huh. Number one, with my mother, I don't know what it feel like to have a father love. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it feel like to have a mother love. Mm -hmm. So when anything happened in our home, my mom makes sure, even though life was hard, she makes sure she make that sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have, we do it out. And I remember those days when us, your mother tell you, if anybody tell you you're hungry, tell her yes. yes. <laughs> no make nobody know, even if you're hungry, just say yes. So when I have my children and everything, I teach them almost different, almost the same, but are in flight differently. Mm -hmm. Because then when I was having my children, I don't let them go to nobody's house. And I don't let friends come over my house. Your house is your house. What you do over your house is your house. Mm -hmm. yes. But in a, my house, my house must have respect. Mm -hmm. And then I tell my kids, you know what? On things, I want to give on the needs, not on the wants. So the only time I buy shoes for any one of my kids, eh, if I say really, really need an boss. Apart from that, if you're old and tired, you still go on a school day, still. and you want to still make sure you keep you in a shape and shine. <laughs> so even though we came from a poor background, mm -hmm. I never left my kids make them look poor. You understand me? Yeah. I always bring up them up to this very day. I don't like to do the picnic. <laughs> I don't like to do the picnic. I always say to wash and wear. There is help. So what, what moment did you say to yourself, man? I was hard for my mom. I yeah. was hard on my mom. In Theodora, yes. Uh -huh. I don't really play, play hard for my mom. Uh huh. Because I grew up with 14, 14 kids. Uh -huh. 14 old. And everybody share work together. Uh -huh. And we do it because back in the days, you can't answer parents. Mm -hmm. You have to do what they tell you to do. Yeah. We, we need to fact check that. I want to mm -hmm. ask your mom if that's true. If you ever get no trouble. You still alive? <laughs> when I make you say it on TV, how are you? Uh, me, I'm used to like dance. Uh -huh. Although we never really raise up, you know, like that. But me, my friend used to go and say, girl, let's go to dance tonight. I say, okay, I'm going. Uh, me, I used to like dance. Mm -hmm. And now I look back from my youngest daughter. Mm -hmm. She like dance. Mm -hmm. She like go out. And she she baby five and not six. And and I da tell her, girl, this baby they cry for you, you have to stay home. You this baby and be just like you uh -huh. and I hope you could take it. But when I look back sometimes I lay down and I laugh and I say, She da me. Mm -hmm. So I can sometimes I don't really look with them because I say, Man, she da me. <laughs> Mm. Anybody else? Okay, so let's flip it. Instead of going to the bad moments when, mm -hmm. well, not bad, but you know, you challenge yeah. your mom and we're all guilty of it, right? Say it. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. Okay. <laughs> but 
there's also a time when you realize just how much your mother sacrificed for you or how hard she worked for you or you know sometimes maybe you had mom had more kids than you did maybe she had different circumstances than you did mm -hmm. uh, tell me about that tell me the one time as a mother where you said wow this is this is what my mother went through yeah. um, and just that appreciation everybody says it you really appreciate your mother more when you become a mother mm -hmm. yourself why is that well mm -hmm. well uh -huh. My struggle was buying five kids on my own. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very difficult. Mm -hmm. But I just said, well, you know what, I have to do it. Yeah, That's what did. my mother did. Yeah. You know, so I get up and I work. And I told the oldest one, you go and be the younger one. I have to go and do something, yeah. Yeah. you know, so I can maintain them. Yeah. So I told them that's where my mother teach me. Yeah. Okay. I told them when you come from school, my oldest one used to say, mommy, we cook on the fire hot. If I don't see any smoke, I'm not coming home. Yeah. <laughs> I tell him, son, your granny will cook. Yeah. So when my mother got sick, I had to take care of her. Yes. The same way they take care of me. Yeah. You know? And I take care of my mom, me and my daughter, the youngest one. Because mm -hmm. she had cervical cancer. Oh, wow. Yeah, and I take care of her until she was 74 years old, wow. with struggles and tears. Mm -hmm. But I love her, mm -hmm. and that's the reason I take care of her. Yeah. Right. I take care of my dad the same until he passed away in my hand. Wow. wow. Yeah. Legacy. Mm -hmm. Deborah, you wanted to share? Yeah. With Wait. me, is realizing when my mom had to take care of seven kids on her own, mm -hmm. and even though I was married and everything, not because you are married, that means life will be wonderful. Mm -hmm. And I figure if mama can do it with seven of us, then I can even do it with even two more extra, which is nine. But the hardest part is knowing that when my mom got sick and realized that even in her sickness, she still had to get up and do things. That when I got sick and everything, I realized I had to make that same sacrifice. And I said, man, I didn't think what my mom went through when she was sick, yeah. Yeah. when she didn't have any money to feed us. And I said, man, this is real rough. And sometimes I would cry because I realized the struggle she had to win. And as a child, you don't see it. Yeah? How about you, you all? You have any experience where you really realized, as a mother, what your mother would have went through? Yeah, because um, sometimes when I'm me one day, day and I would have to go, go clean up yeah, clean up that, I said, man, the me one, and then, I realized that, man, back in the days, I'm only my mom one too. And I said, man, my mom gone through harder things than this. Yeah. Because then we never have washing machine. Mm -hmm. And my mom had to wash all nine Everybody a week. Closed, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, I said, man, my mom really had it hard. We never have on a stove. She had a, a fire hat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they're like, you know, they never my a big house. I'm really trash, you know, but we still make it. and. Mm -hmm. Afterwards, then we start to pick up a little bit. Yeah. But then I realized that my ma gone through more than we we did go through, you know. And, and uh, when I realized that, it only because I'm doing big, and mm -hmm. we never used to help her. Huh? So yeah. okay. you know, Miss Theodora, yeah. Miss Miss Teresa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, me and the only three are we. Oh, okay. Oh, your mom only had three of you? Yeah, only three of you, three girls. I am the first child. Yes, I... Well, my mom, she... She take care of we. I married at that time. Um, and when did you have a moment where you said, man, I'm so grateful for my mother yes. or... <laughs> yes, yeah. um, I wish my mom could get up again. Mm. But she, she gone, she gone. Yeah. yeah. Right. So, mm. Mm. <laughs> but <laughs> she, I, I never, I know, I know have no um, complaint with my mom. She raised me with, with the three of us. We don't marry when she, mm. when she died. Yes. Okay. So she get to see everybody yes, get married. Yes. Everybody, three of us, we yeah. married. Mm -hmm. Well, my mother had, had it really rough because 
My father was a farmer okay. and she do domestic. Mm -hmm. And 14 of us is not a joke. 14 brothers and yeah. sisters. Wow. So, so I only have six and if you sit down and think about it, it's because she's really strong yeah. and she never gives up. My mother had 24 of us. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I won't even try to comprehend what? that right now. 24 of us. Okay. Brothers and sisters. How much better you have? What's the name? There are 10 of us alive. Okay. No, and, and families were bigger at one mm -hmm. time. You know, and I think what I find interesting is even as an adult, and when you're young, your mother is your world. And even as an adult, you still feel that. And I think I know friends who've lost mothers, and I know some of you have lost your mothers too. You love them forever. You miss them forever, right? Mm -hmm. No matter what age. Mm -hmm. And that's why your kids enjoy you today and love you the way they do. That's right. And we have a little surprise coming up for you in surprise, just a surprise. few. <laughs> All right, but in the meantime, let's wrap up this competition. Mm -hmm. Josephine, you want to give people a break or you still in it to yeah, win? Yeah, okay. No, man, you in it to win. Let me remind you again, uh, five <laughs> points for every time you answer. And it's for every Enough person time to catch who up. answers. The person who answers first, all right? All right, we have somebody keeping score. I don't to watch, no, I don't watch my FIFA, yes. All right. So this one is word association, which means we say uh, two words um, and you have to guess what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Yeah, we say some words actually, and yeah. five points per e for, for each. Yeah. And now, don't be scared. Just guess. Just guess. Just guess. It right? might be correct. It might be wrong. But yes. And your answer is actually just one word. I'll tell you some words. We'll tell you some words. Probably two or three. All right. Mm -hmm. The first one. This is a clue. Poems and hallmark. Mm -hmm. yeah. Hallmark poems. Poems hallmark. Misty. And we're talking about Mother's Day Mother's Day. things. <laughs> clue, clue, clue. Flowers. Mm -hmm. Hallmark uh, uh, mm -hmm. poems. Poems. You have to name a poem for her. No, 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 no. What are we talking what about? What are we talking about? One thing. Move it. Who? Move it. Mm, the love no. of your, the love uh, of your mother. Uh -huh. The love of your mother. No, and one word. Would be one one word. word. What are we talking about when we say poems, Hallmark? Love. I'll give a clue. Stories. We 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 buy it. Gift. Card. Car. <laughs> there you go. I tell you, Miss. All right. All right. See. So here we go. See, she did. Josephine did the upgraded version. She did movies. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next All right. one. Mm -hmm. Lilies, roses, daisies. Flowers. There we go. <laughs> Flowers. Yeah. Theodora. Yeah? All right. We keeping score? Yeah, we got a scorekeeper. Hearts, sugar, chocolate. Sweet. Sweet. Mm -hmm. There we go. You're sweet. Right. Sweet. <laughs> All, All right. right. Mix, juice, speed. Drinks. Okay. Mm. Blender. Oh, <laughs> <Josephine>. <laughs> All right. Metal, ghoul, chain. Link. All right. Uh, uh, Close, no. but chain Close, is a? Is a? Jewel. Jewelry, Jewelry. all right. All right. Mm. Oil, hands, motion. Motion, body. Mm. Oil, hands. Massage. Bam, <laughs> right. Here we go. All right. Celebrity, chef, please. Cooking, kitchen. Food. It's close, oh. yeah. Let's give it one more round. One so more we're talking place. a place, a chef, chef. No, we're talking about chef, place, a place that you go, like celebrity Radisson. you're going yeah. for. Restaurant. Eating. Eating. Dinner. Dinner. Yeah, Dinner. Dinner. All right. <laughs> All right. Flour, eggs, icing, cake. cake. All right. So here we go. Carmelita. Mm -hmm. And then we go. We go with this one. Planes, boat. City, hotel, travel. travel. <laughs> All right, you travel to a place. You're on a plane. plane. You go on a boat and plane. Plane. Book. There we go. We got it there. We got it there. And so we're actually uh, changing now to Mother's Day word association. We, well, actually, it's the same thing. Here we go. The team is actually Mother's Quality. 
All right, mother's qualities. Everybody got any qualities. So here we go. All right, let me let me let me jump to one. Mm -hmm. Breakfast, dinner, supper. Dinner. Meal. It's Menu. A it's a quality that we're talking it's about. What you do. Breakfast, Cooking. dinner, supper. What is, what is it? Cooking. Here we go. <laughs> there we go, Miss All right. Yeah. Again, uh -huh. refresh, tidy, chores. Cleaning. There we there go. There we go. All right. So here we go with, uh, ah, hook me up, Mark. Hook me up, Mark. <laughs> Confront. Comfort. Uh, comfort, spoiling, support. Teaching. Mm, Guiding. Comfort. comfort. Spoiling, Spoiling. Baby. Support. support. Guardians. Mm. Uh, you're uh, <laughs> Hug. 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 There we go. All right, this one. Fees, needs, bills. Bills. Pay. Money. What are you doing? What What is the Pay quality bills. that you're doing? Responsibility. Spending. Spending. <laughs> Spending, that is true. You, you, you do it for your home. Mm -hmm. This is a hard one. Easy. Yeah. Right. Fees, you have to pay. You have to pay their fees. You have meet to make sure that you meet their meet. needs. You, you pay the bills. Not what are you doing? You are the breadwinner. The breadwinner, the the, 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 um, the caregiver. Uh -huh. hey. hey, <laughs> <laughs> you are the provider <laughs> somebody over there kissed it <laughs> all right so that's it for our game at this time we'll bring over the scores in just a few and uh, we'll find oh. out exactly what you're gonna win and now that we we mentioned oh. these people that we were thanking we'll tell you why because these are the prizes that you're going to win nice our first prize winner gets a weekend stay with breakfast and lunch at the Ramada Belicity Princess. Ooh. You get a bottle of Menage a Trois wine Ooh. and Amarula from Carl H. Menzies. You get a Hamilton Beach toaster oven from Tropigas, a gift basket from Traveler's Liquors, a love chain from Medina's House of Jewelry. Those are for the for first, first place, place winner. All of that one for my goodness. Second place winner gets a $50 gift certificate for Santiago Castillo Limited. Mm -hmm. uh, they also get assorted rums for Cuellos Distillery, a gift basket from James Brodies and Company Limited, a menage a trois from Carl H. Menzies, a gift certificate for two brunches this weekend at Best Western Biltmore Plaza and a gift basket from LA Fashion. Third place, we'll get a $50 gift certificate from Santiago Castillo Limited, assorted rum from Cuellos Distillery Limited, a gift basket from James Brodies and Company Limited, a facial from Otsal De Spa, and two round trip tickets to San Pedro Ooh. on San Pedro Belize Express. Fourth place, you get a $50 gift certificate from Quartz, Assorted rums from Koya's Distillery, Grace Gift Basket, Basket from Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, a photo package from Suzanne Singh Photography, and two round trip tickets to Key Cocker. Fifth place hmm. gets $50 gift certificate from Quartz, assorted rums from Koya Distillery, gift basket from Grace Kennedy Belize Limited, and a mommy and me photo session with night and day photography. So everybody, everybody will walk, will away, walk with away with something. something. And in addition to that, all of you, no matter how you placed in our competition, will get? Yep, you'll be getting, uh, every mother actually, will be getting a $50 gift certificate uh, from The Loft by Shads. You'll be getting a wellness package, one yoga class, one revitalizing facial, one therapeutic massage, and a three course meal, three course, oh my gosh. And that is of course of Om Shanti Yoga and Wellness Center. And cafe. Uh, uh -huh. and, and cafe, wow, that's so nice. Assorted cupcakes as well from Tammy's Cupcakes, uh, Cakes and Cupcakes. A special gift, listen to me, a special gift from CGI. Personalized Mother's Day mugs from the T-shirt factory. Oh. And uh, special Outfits from Pink Booty. Now you yeah. see how I do outfits? Yeah. You see how I do outfits, right? All right. So all of that is coming up, but it is time for our little surprise. Surprise, surprise. So, so the competition that 
your children entered you into was if you were to give an award to your mom what would it be for and why should we uh, bring you on the show to do that mm -hmm. you were selected mm -hmm. and now your children are here to give you your children and representatives are here to give you your award right all right so we're gonna get ready to shift over on that side for our little award ceremony mm -hmm. and we have to say that these awards this is your special gift from cgi so they'll be doing making the presentation and we'll start off with Deborah Alvarado. Take your mic over for me too. Miss Deez. Because Andrew is here to present you Give with your Andrew. special award. All right. And Andrew, he bleed right up. Oh, right, walk yeah, right over. Go over there. Okay, let me let me take that walk with you guys. All right. <laughs> oh. All right. So all right first of all i just want to see you look very beautiful today ma i know right now this is one of the hardest time in your life because your mom passed away throughout this time but as we celebrate mother's day i just want to tell you that even though i didn't get to meet her that's okay because looking at you and receiving your love i now know what she would have given to me your love your sacrifice and your faith is the strongest force this world ever knows and your your journey of being a cancer survivor trust me even though it was hard is the greatest lesson i know you learn because you were able to teach myself patrick lester michael monica alex marhele lira maisha all of us what you had and the greatest gift you gave us was love and the ability to be ourselves. lastly i want you to know because i know like put yourself on this guilt trip and all of these stuff right <laughs> i want you to know that no matter what the nine of us turns out to be whatever decisions we make out there that's on us because we know you did all that you can as a mother and personally i just want to say that you are my hero Thanks for being a cancer survivor. Thanks for being the best. Thanks for being my mother. All I love right. you. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah, you have ten son no cause I want your son too. <laughs> All the best. So here we go. This is what you call love at its best. Excellent. All right. So here we go. And, and next now up we, we have, have Miss Bardales. Carmita Bardales right. and her children are here. So her award will be presented by her sister, Doretta Bardales. Okay. Another Bardales. Bardales, Bardales. All right, do you want to turn this way to the camera, please? Yes, so we could get you. There you go. There you go. Carmelita, I represent this to you as my sister. Because I know how hard you are. You were traveling so hard yeah. to survive with this cancer. <laughs> I hope you live long to see many more. Thanks. All right. Oh, a round of applause for them. Look, come on, my gosh. Oh man, you have a brother in me now too. <laughs> all the best. Congratulations to you. Okay. All right. So, all right. So let me have this. And next up, we have Josephine Cartella. Caratella. Mm -hmm. And her award will be presented by her daughter, Indira Spain. All right. So here you go, Indy. Talk to your mom. I hope I don't cry. Oh, no, you're good. You're weird. It's all good. Love right there. Mm -hmm. um, mom, you have always been a lighthouse in my life. You have always been there to remind me where home is where love is, where acceptance is. Um, you are the greatest blessing in my life. Um, I don't know what I would do without you in it. You are proof that the love of a mother can pave streets directly through a mountain. And for that, we are forever thankful my sisters, my children, my niece, 
your big son has run. Mm -hmm. And anyone else who has ever come in contact with you, we owe you so much for all that you have done for us. Thank you for being such a force in our lives. We love you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. Yes. All right. But there All you right. Go. Next there up is Theodora. And Theodora is bringing her baby of the bunch along with her. Oh my god. Her gosh. presentation will be made by Alia Salam. All right, Alia. Come up and you speak to your mommy. Mom as a token of appreciation for the things you have done for us. Oh. I couldn't imagine a world without you. I love you. Happy Mother's Day. Oh man. Look at this big beautiful family. Oh, there you go. Alright. And our right, final so award for this morning is going to be to Teresa. Go on over, Teresa. Hi, Miss T. I'm waiting for you. Teresa Ball, and here to pronounce, uh, to pro to give her her award is Delia Briseño. Did I say it right? Yes. Okay, you thank go. you. Words cannot begin to express the love and gratitude that is in my heart for you, my beloved mother. But this is my humble attempt. First of all, I am most grateful for this life you have shared with us. Yes, there have been moments of bliss and moments of despair. Moments of love and moments of intense heartbreak. Moments of freedoms and moments of fear. Moments of success and moments of devastation. But I am so grateful just to be here with you. This experience is truly a memorable and unforgettable one. I give thanks to God every day for you, for all that you have done and will continue to do. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. I love you and it's not just coming from me, but from all your children and grandchildren. Happy Mother's Day. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. There you go. And I'm going to ask all the moms now if you can go over by John's. Yes. Miss D, you, can, you, the, can you can take your award if you'd uh -huh. like. We're yeah, going to on. announce our winners. And, yeah. But let's line up right here with your beautiful selves. Let's line up right here with your, be with your beautiful selves. All right. And so it is that time of the day where uh, we announce the winners. Like we mentioned, nobody will be walking empty handed. Before I announce the winners, we here at Channel 5 and Open Your Eyes, all you beautiful mothers, a happy Mother's Day. And enjoy the weekend, all right? Yeah. And so we start with fifth place with 10 points this morning. That wonderful mother is none other than Miss Teresa Bull. Congratulations to her. Yeah, we actually have a student audience. <laughs> and of course, Miss Teresa, we already told you what you uh, are going to win or what you've won. Fourth place goes to none other than, of course, with 15 points, Miss Carmelita Bardales. <laughs> Third place with 20 points goes to none other than Theodora Salam. <laughs> and uh, second place, or should I do first place so who we know thereafter? Second place is with 30 points, that beautiful mom is Deborah Alvarado. And so the winner is Josephine Cardella. <laughs> Make me hear that softball cheers now. <laughs> and let me let me uh, let me quickly run down again what uh, you, you what first place have just won a weekend stay with breakfast and lunch from the Ramada uh, Belize City Princess, one uh, one menage a trois and one art artrella. See you guys. Be, yeah, Amarula. You, Aram, Amarula actually. 
uh, toaster oven from Tropigas, one gift basket from Travelers Liquors, one love chain from Medina's House of Jewelry. Two, uh, let me see, two prize, actually it says, oh, that's second prize, let's go to second prize. You just win yourself $50 gift certificate from Santiago Castillo. Sorted run from Quayos, one gift basket from James Brody, a menage a trois wine from Carly H. Menzies, one gift certificate for two uh, for brunch actually on May 13, and one gift basket as well. For third place, $50 gift certificate, assorted rum, one gift basket from James Brody and Company Limited, from Utzil de Spa, two round trip tickets to San Pedro from San Pedro Belize Express. Fourth place, you got yourself a $50 gift certificate from Quartz, assorted rum from Quayos Distillery, Grace, uh, actually a great, great, Grace gift basket from Grace, photo package from Suzanne Singh Photography, and two rum chickens to to Cocker. And finally, fifth place, $50 gift certificate, assorted rum from Quayos, one gift basket from Grace, and Mommy and Me photos photo session from Night and Day Photography. Congratulations Yay. to all the mothers. Great. And what we'll do, we'll take one final break. And when we come back, it is for the wrap-up. Stay tuned. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Channel 5 introduces the Daily Obituaries. The Daily Obituaries will broadcast all that and funeral announcements and memorials to honor your loved one's life and memories. The Daily Obituaries airs on Channel 5 prior to the evening newscast with subsequent repeats at 10 p.m. and 12 noon the following day. It will also be placed online on our social media platforms, all for a standard package fee. Celebrate their lives and memories with Channel 5's daily obituaries. Honor in life and reverence in death. And welcome back. And we're going to say thank you to everyone who tuned in today for our annual Mother's Day special. It's one of my favorite shows of the year. Ladies, thank you so much thank for being you, brave, thank you, thank you. for coming here, getting dressed up early in the morning, and uh, sharing your own adventures of Really appreciate it. All the tears shed were, of course, tears of happiness, tears of joy as well. But some folks were actually, folks were actually tuned in and they... Uh... Oh, of course. We have to say thank you to our viewers online. We know uh, that they always uh, find the time to be able to say uh, good morning and share their shout outs and yep. some of your family were watching and uh, people said they love your Andrew story but what I want to do is <laughs> get into some of the shout outs that they had mm -hmm. um, so we have a happy Mother's Day to my mother Pauline McFadson from her son Cameron uh, we have happy Mother's Day to my lovely daughter is Ortega in Cayo, love and miss you. Mm -hmm. Mother's Day to my beautiful wife, Romalda Salam, who is the mother of my lovely children. And uh, there was another one I wanted to share, but I can't find it now. Oh okay, gosh. so that's some of the greetings that we had. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, we want to say happy Mother's Day to all of the mothers across the country. Definitely. Uh, what you do in providing for your children, loving your children, supporting your children, guiding your children is invaluable and uh, I think every child uh, wh whether they're too young but especially when they're older they really learn to appreciate all that mothers do and it's not an easy job so today and every day we really should say thank you Definitely. whether it's on uh, Dia de las Madres on, on May 10th <laughs> yep. or on the second, the second Sunday, Sunday because it really yes. doesn't matter. matter of course every day <laughs> just say happy yeah. Mother's Day say thank um, to your moms and, and uh, we appreciate you. I know I have to say uh, happy Mother's Day to my mother, Alvina Cuellar. Love her. She knows that. I try to tell her as much as I can. <laughs> Grateful for all that you put up with as well. Yeah. Um, and to my lovely sisters who, uh, as I tell them, I just knew they would be great.
because they were fantastic sisters. So uh, I'm, I'm so proud of them and friends and my co-workers. And if I start to mention people, I will get in trouble. So there you go. I man. will And that's the reason take a why I, I, that's the reason went to my mind. Uh, all I want to say is happy Mother's Day to uh, all the mothers out there. Uh, Belizean mothers, you guys are beautiful. Wonderful, and you inspire us to be who we are today. Uh, we want to say a big thank you as well to Confetti and Blooms by Confetti as yes. these guys continue to be superb in making sure you're decked out. All right, so you can get your flowers and of course uh, they did our set design as well as a part of what they do for their event planning. So we have to thank you to them and thank you once again to, to Pink, all the mothers, to these ladies, mm -hmm. to our crew who's uh, working here to ensure that we have. Um, uh, a great show as well uh, to LJ, our performer for today, yeah. and he's actually going to be closing <laughs> us off with a special song as well. Uh, we want to say Happy Mother's Day to all the moms here at Channel 5 as well. We know uh, the sacrifice that you make coming here every day too, and uh, so of course they're all we're all a family here. So thank you. Mm -hmm. um, any we, questions? Any concerns? Mm -hmm. You can drop us a line at OYE at channel5belize.com. You can drop me a line at marleni underscore OYE.com. Find us on Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ, on Instagram at OYE Belize. And uh, remember to tune in on Monday morning at 6.30 when you open your eyes. To start your morning right. And as per usual, keep your mind, your heart, your mind. I think you literally scared them. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> but up until then, keep your eyes, your mind. And your hearts open. We'll see you soon. Enjoy your day, please. <laughs> I'll dedicate this song to my mom and to all the mothers out there. The song is entitled It's a real story, John. Yeah. Listen. I grew up in a home where everything was low. My mama worked hard, me know for sure. Lick a food on the table, yeah. My mama was able, yeah, to make things stable. No, she never gambled. Mm. Selling food on the streets, soup and rice and beans, with fudge on the side, yeah, serving with a smile. Mama, it's alright, yeah We've been here all night, yeah But mama was willing, yeah Even for a shilling Mama, you ain't working No more No more No more Mama, you ain't working No more No more No more Am I everything? Am I everything? Ooh. Am I everything? Am I everything? I remember waking up in the morning. You said, Are you okay, my darling? Mama, every time I was falling, you were there to give me my. I wish you were here for another day. I wish you were here for another day. I wish you were here for another day. Come back, come back, can't stay. I can see what I'm doing. I can see how I'm moving. I can see where I'm going. Mama, without you, I am nothing. Mama, mama, you don't eat. Mama, mama, you don't sleep. Mama, mama, I can't breathe. Mama, you're all I need No more No more No more Mama, you ain't working No more No more No more I wanna say big up to my mom Margarita Jones AKA English Rose and I want to say big up to my wife, Larissa. May God bless you, man. You all are my everything. <laughs> no more. No more. You. Am I everything? 
I'm my everything You I'm my everything I'm my everything Oh honey honey Happy Mother's Day Open your eyes. Mother's Day special was brought to you by Smart, The Belize Bank Limited, Pink Boutique, Santiago Castillo Limited, Grace Canada Belize Limited, Carl H. Menzies Company Limited, Ramada Belize City Princess, Medina's House of Jewelry, San Pedro Belize Express, Night and Day Photography, T-Shirt Factory, Traveler's Girls Limited, Best Western Belize Billboard Plaza, Suzanne Singh Photography, CGI, LA Fashions Boutique, Thomas Cakes and Cupcakes, Tropic Gas, Quartz, Poyas Distillery Limited, James Brody Company Limited, Om Shanti Belize, The Loft by Shads, and O 